Hey guys, welcome to the weekly governance call for NFTX. Um, I'm going to be doing a small intro with Alex, just covering up some basic things. So yeah, if there's anyone that would like to talk about something specific, just let us know in chat or raise your hand. Uh, we're constantly looking for more contributors. So if you know anything about Solidity or front-end work, or if you're a graphic designer, just hit us up. It's always useful. And anyone that wants to be a more active participant in the community can contact me or CHOP. Or and if you want to make a proposal, just contact me or push straight to the Discord or the Discourse. So yeah. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, say hi, because it's been a, a couple of weeks since I popped in. Um, as I mentioned on Twitter, there's a bit of personal stuff going on in my life, but nothing that um, anyone really needs to worry about. Everything will be back to normal in a few weeks. And um, yeah, things are still going really well with NFTX. Um, I think uh, Scott Lewis is going to be talking on a Clubhouse event tonight with uh, Beeple and some other big names. Um, and yeah, we've uh, we've had some partnerships happening, which might you know get announced soon. Hopefully, you know, legitimize this a bit in the eyes of uh, other big companies and artists and such. So. Uh, yeah, it's exciting times, and uh, thanks a lot to everyone for just helping me out during this time and uh, filling in. And thanks a lot to Chop for you know taking over on the day to day. Yeah, I mean, I want to thank Chop as well. He's been a very active participant. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna pass it over to you, Chop. I think I, uh, no okay. one has any questions. Yeah, cool. Uh, just just. Uh... Anybody, feel free to like raise your hand uh, whenever you've got questions uh, during my part. Like if you don't understand the thing or like uh, need more context, just uh, like let me know. Uh, so basically as part of or the people that are new to this call, uh, I do a week in review every week uh, on the blog together with Javery, uh, who mainly writes the content. And on this governance call, I kind of go over each topic so that everybody's aware, even though you haven't maybe read it or didn't see it uh, this week, uh, just as a like a, uh, yeah, a reminder. Uh, so this week's in review. So past week, we've been uh, very active, uh, especially on front end products, uh, but also on cross asset swaps. So FASA was uh, contributing a lot on the protocol side of things, has been working on the cross asset swap uh, uh, contract which allows you basically to swap a NFT uh, for another in NFT and getting the remainder in a, like a different ERC uh, token, so like DAI or USDT. Um, so that's in development. It has been launched uh, on mainnet, I, I believe, yesterday or two days ago, if I'm, yeah, no, yesterday. Um, in the week of in, in review, we uh, kind of show the visual aspects, which isn't uh, live yet to be used. Um, so it's just a, like a preview of what's to come. Uh, in addition to that, there's the gallery, uh, which was launched two weeks ago, uh, but there's been some upgrades already. And uh, there's a lot of like other updates uh, slated for being released on that. Uh, we've got a link to the Kenny board, uh, which is on the blog also, uh, where you can drop your feedback on the product. Uh, please do so if you use the product because it's uh, the only, or the best way for contributors to improve uh, the products. Um, then the biggest topic, I, I guess for last week and also this week, uh, especially today, is the upgrade, pa uh, the patch for the contracts being upgraded. Um, uh, this mainly would be enabling the create fault function, which essentially means that anyone can create a index fund for any NFT uh, contract, which is uh, like ERC721 based uh, and spawn a fund without needing the DAO or any person involved within NFT in, in the NFTX ecosystem to uh, help them or like... Uh, yeah, allow them to. So it's fully permissionless. Uh, we've got a long list of projects, NFT projects, which are waiting on this. Uh, so that's super excited to uh, like have done and then uh, yeah, see how it organically grows outside of what we do, uh, which is super cool in my uh, opinion. 
Uh, then the last point before it's mainly uh, NFT news is uh, launching the Bull Run Babes uh, uh, fund. That's I covered also in the in the previous governance call. But mostly the discussions that are going on uh, on the forum, which is paused at the moment. Sorry for that. It's uh, it's getting fixed. Um, there's a discussion which is around like strategical focus of the entire DAO uh, moving more towards single funds uh, instead of combined funds, where single funds are just the like one-on-one -on -one backed NFT to ERC-20 funds and combined funds are like a collection of single funds uh, utilizing balancer and then wrapping a token. Uh, so that originally the idea was that those products, so the combined funds uh, were the product that would get the most traction but looking at like how the market moves and data we've gathered for example like hash mask but also the bull run babes uh, both growing pretty organically uh, it's pretty clear that uh, single funds are currently more in demand than the combined funds so we're also switching at least that's the discussion we're, we're looking to switch in moving all the things we do also like on product and on the liquidity treasury aspect uh, towards supporting single funds over combined funds. Doesn't mean that combined funds uh, are gone. It just means like a different focus uh, for everybody. Uh, so if you have an opinion or any like additional thoughts, please drop them on the forum because uh, all the data on the forum and the, like, the conversations there are used to actually make a proposal and get it through governance. Uh, so the more inputs, the better, uh, especially if you are expertise in being a liquidity provider or handling treasury funds uh, and, and things like that. Uh, so that's the week in review. Um, then the next topic I want to talk about is a new fund that I've been helping the Ether Cards team with. Uh, I, I believe they already announced uh, slightly what they're intending to do. Uh, their launch is in a few weeks. I think 16th of March, top of my head. It uh, got delayed a little bit because they're still in auditing their uh, contracts. But the ID, TLDR ID, is that we're going to launch or support them in launching their public uh, sale. Uh, so normally they just do like a, like a curve still where the price increases. But in addition to that, uh, we're looking into supporting them at the same time with a uh, fund uh, where they both supply a lot of either common cards uh, in uh, combination with ETH as an AMM pool uh, themselves to basically have people buy into their uh, NFTs a different way than it's usually done. Uh, so it's kind of an experiment for us because use case hasn't been done before like this, which is cool. So it's new data uh, and also it's it's a, a legitimate project. So it's uh, it's good to be aligned with them. Um, yeah, contract patch I already kind of covered. Uh, and then the last thing is uh, something I mentioned the previous in the previous call is that I've been working on creating a big proposal to acquire uh, a squad towards the DAO. Um, I've been in talks with everybody, including the protocol devs to uh, like crystallize out how that would look like. And right now we've doubled down on creating a like consumer product squad, which basically is the gallery squad, uh, but then responsible for leading the way in all consumer products. Uh, and that's gonna be finished this week, end of end of this week. And then if, if the forum works again, uh, I'm gonna move that over to the forum, uh, similar to how my proposal was uh, moved to the forum. So everybody can uh, leave his comments and uh, yeah, uh, work out the details before we propose it on snapshots. Uh, and that's mostly mostly my part. Yeah, so um, I think it's important to talk about like discourse is there for people to always like give their concerns for proposal. Like nothing is passed when it's at that point. So even if Chop is like worked on it for days or weeks or whatever, 
anyone can say, no, this is a bad idea, I vote against. And if multiple people do that, well, Chop's yeah. work is gone in the wind, but that's nah, good. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah, exactly. I like in a DAO, work will be wasted. That's just how it how, how it occurs. But hopefully, I mean, so Chop has been spearheading everything. We all agree with what he's going to write. Um, but don't agree because it's Chop. Agree because you agree with what the content is. I just wanted to make that known and clear. So yeah, uh, in regards to governance, I also want to talk about single and combined funds, so or D1s and D2s. So we've talked about this a lot before, and my stance is pretty clear. I believe in combined funds, but I want uh, single funds to thrive because I think they're required for combined funds, and I also think that's what the market wants at this current time. The market isn't educated or open enough to combine funds, or they're not efficient enough for them to try them out. I, I don't exactly know, but I, I do know uh, that, or I do believe that single funds work better right now. Uh, Bob has been rejected. Rejected, yeah, yeah. It's uh, strange. Uh, Alex, you can speak. Shit, I hope I didn't accidentally reject Bob right there. No, it was Tio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll tell um, him to rejoin. Yeah, anyways, um, yeah, I mean, I have opinions on the D1, D2 as well. Um, historically, I've been pretty pro D2. That's kind of like, you know, further to the original vision. Uh, but I definitely get what people are saying. And uh, more and more, I think it'll be possible for us to kind of, the, you know, the two aren't mutually exclusive, right? We don't necessarily have to choose between the two. Okay. Um, so I think, yeah, like, you know, um, if, if we do a good job um, getting the D1s bootstrapped, then other projects like uh, Indexed and, you know, know uh, PyDAO and other projects that focus on making indexes um, perhaps they just end up building on top of us and kind of taking over that D2 ro role more um, there's also the question of whether we're going to have farming rewards and when those would start and how that would affect things so yeah I think there's um, there's a lot of variables at play but um, ultimately we don't have to pick between the two um, it's just more of like whether we want to uh, shift emphasis more. So I, I wouldn't, to me, it's not even like a shift of emphasis because we, like you said, they're not exclusive. So what, to me, the concern is just like, if we give our liquidity or use our liquidity as an LP for D1 pools, then we can't do that right now for D2 pools, but we can do that and then ease out if we realize that it's working, which is what you're saying. I think it's just like dividing things into steps as opposed to saying we do both at the same time. I think that's the, the like the real point here. Okay. Yeah, no, fair enough. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking, uh, I like to, you know, ultimately our treasury is quite small compared to our vision. Um, like we want to grow to be really large. Um, so like ultimately, you know, the amount of liquidity we supply as a DAO will probably go down relatively to the amount of liquidity that's supplied externally to us. So, uh, yeah, I mean, ultimately, I don't think we can really push through the liquidity that much ourselves and it will come down to like incentivizing it somehow. Um, but yeah, I'll let other people speak but, on that. So I, w I was talking with Nick today about that, that like you, if you have D1s, then like D2s work by themselves. And since we're permissionless, anyone can make anything. And like, we have to play on that permissionlessness because that's what Uniswap, like that's what allowed Uniswap to grow that much. That's what allowed SushiSwap to grow that much. Anyone can make an LP of anything. Like one of the reasons it grew so much is because of scams and scams are horrible. But if someone can make a scam, that means anyone can make anything. And if there's no limitations to creation, uh, things usually just get built faster and are used more. And like, if we provide liquidity ourselves, that's so that's also one reason I want to focus on D1s. We can provide liquidity for D1s and prove that it works. And then other people will try it out for other products. And if we try for D2s, we don't know if it works. So it's more risky. Whereas if we start with one and then go to the other, we're just reducing our risk and we can still do both. 
Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Does anyone uh, have any other comments or questions regarding single or combined funds? No. Well, I, I have to comment like that, that, that it's not only about liquidity, but it's about the entire strategy of focusing products on single funds versus combined funds. So it's not only liquidity like this. The, 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 the discussions on the governance forum currently are mainly aimed at liquidity, but the bigger talks are uh, like what to focus on from a product perspective, uh, be, product being the front end, uh, like biz dev things, marketing, messaging, everything. Uh, essentially, what we've learned over the last months is that aside from the ticker, like uh, naming stuff, which we kind of didn't uh, double down on yet on what which fund needs which ticker. Uh, it's kind of clear that uh, single funds, as especially when each NFT is very lowly or low priced, uh, take off organically uh, much faster than any any combined fund you could create because it's in its current form, uh, just too hard and too costly to create a combined fund for ourselves. So we can't really expect it to be done by uh, other communities. Uh, you know what I mean? So it's the, kind the of- friction, The friction is very high. It's like, it's way too many transactions. Yeah, it's impossible. The, the it's UI quite... is very hard. You, there's yeah. too much slippage, it's inefficient. Yeah. Yeah, so so from a like from a strategical point of view, if we want to keep dominating everything uh, we've been dominating over the past months, it is the right play to move into single funds from a like focus point of view, and then later we might move into combined funds if uh, if there's opportunity. Uh, like we don't, we shouldn't write off the entire ID because the like theoretically the ID is very great, uh, but it's just not something we should like prioritize and focus over single. Yeah, so, so we're talking about short term. Like, yeah, short vision. midterm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. so that, that's what I was thinking as well. Okay. Yeah. All right, do you also want to talk about um, bounties? Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, Alex, I put this in the agenda uh, because I uh, we have talked about this yesterday about uh, pushing a bounty uh regarding the contract upgrades or the upgrades that had to be made uh, mm. which has to be paid from the treasury uh so i'll be working on that uh for uh yeah just as a draft should, should i provide should i provide people context in the meeting right now yeah 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 um so yeah for anyone that doesn't know already um a couple of weeks back um sam sam sun uh that you know white hack hacker who finds all the bugs um he hit me up and he found a, a pretty severe exploit in our contract um which was missed during the audit and basically um, allowed people to drain funds um so we paused the contract and we've been you know working on a patch and making sure that that was uh that was you know the proper patch so we're about to push that and um we also want to push bounties with the change as well just mm -hmm. because uh you know, going forward, this is something that you should be ready already. So yeah, um, if we have bounties there, then people know that they can make money by just letting us know as opposed to hacking it. Yeah. Yeah. And a, and a good, like a good side note on the, the draining the funds part, because that's, that sounds kind of uh, scary for people that don't know what it means. It, it was very entered on uh, the, the possibility to create a fund, like a new, new token, which could then used as a fake token to drain another fund. Which is mm -hmm. why the like the create fault part of the contract was passed. So it's not, uh, it's not been like uh, exploitable for the last uh, like months. It's mm -hmm. just uh, like yeah, since he noted that, uh, you directly passed that, and then uh, it wasn't exploitable. Anymore. Yeah, the exploit like once he explained it, it was um, it seemed really obvious. Um, basically, it was the ability to create a new fund using an old. ERC fund token. Um, we'll we'll give a more written explanation, but yeah, yeah, yeah I'm quite confident now that that's taken care of. Um, yep. And uh, I just want to say, I mean, you said it's pretty obvious, but you and the auditors both missed it. So I mean, yeah, that's it might I, that's be more obvious I mean. in hindsight. So 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is that like it's it's funny how um, like the mo- the moment he even started explaining it, I was like, oh my god. Um, but yeah, you know that just goes to show that audits aren't um, a blanket solution. Yeah, hundred percent. Cool. Um. So, uh, Nick, are you here? Yep, I'm here. Uh, would you like to talk about the gallery and the like? What's been going on on regards to the front end product? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, this is my first Scarf crawl. Uh, my name's Nick. Uh, I previously from EtherianPrice.org, and uh, you may know me from Twitter as Zero X Nick. Um, yeah, I've joined uh, NFTX. I started out just co- contributing a bit of my time, and now uh, joining to head up product. Um, and I feel. Uh, there's a ton of opportunities here that we can uh, capitalize on. Um, so I've jumped in with the gallery squad uh, and the gallery is so far pretty much finished. There's a couple of details to add such as um, price charts and performance, but that's mostly now complete. So the big, big priority from our side now is to uh, upgrade the existing NFT ox- NFTX.org application front end. So I'm sure everyone would agree uh, it's kind of lacking as it is. So as a very immediate roadmap, the goal is to um, really kind of overhaul how the UX is working, uh, make minting and redeeming a, a lot, lot easier. And also uh, from a Create Vault point of view, uh, allowing people to access uh, these new functions that we've got put in. Uh, and as Chop was saying, and Finesse it as well, uh, the focus being on D1 and really trying to get that experience uh, going as smoothly as possible, as quickly as possible. Um, because NFTX.org has a massive opportunity here. And um, yeah, it feels like the app front end need, needed to be updated sort of yesterday. So that's the that's the main priority from our side. Uh, we're currently going through wireframes um, and we'll be on to actual development uh, and design as of tomorrow. So yeah, that's a huge priority from our side. Yeah, that, I just want to jump in there. And first of all, um, welcome, Nick, because uh, it- Really awesome having him on the team, and uh, yeah, the the front the front end that's a hundred percent my bad. That was like very much an MVP, um, and I cannot wait until we get rid of that. I think it will definitely signal to people that we are moving forward. Things are happening. It's just been a chaotic first couple months or so. Yeah, I mean it works. So like as an MVP, it's great. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> not, I wouldn't say great. But yeah. <laughs> And it was I was able to mint, like, I, I was able to mint something. Nice. Yeah, it, was, it took a little while. And, uh, you, you also have to thank Javery. It works now. <laughs> yeah, It didn't yeah, work it, as it, much before. <laughs> Javery's been patching holes, I think, like, every day. So that's that's nice. Nice, nice. Well, yeah, I'm hoping everyone will be super happy with uh, this next kind of um, update to this front end. And then, and then once that's in play, we can start looking at uh, longer term, mid term roadmaps. Um, and mm-hmm. other updates to products. Uh, yeah, because ab- absolutely. Um, like we, it's just been tough scaling so far because you know we've had the contracts turned off. The front end doesn't work very well. Um, but once those two things are back in play, which should be like any day now, um, we can kind of just start scaling on our own. Um, so yeah, sorry, did I interrupt you there, Nick? Or no, no, you? no. Like that's okay. that's my update. Okay, pretty cool. much. Like any questions? Um, well, I did actually want to say like feedback always really key. Uh, so I think Chop was saying as well, we've got that nftx.canny.io uh, where people can just submit feedback topics uh, and you can see progress of extra features, but really just anywhere, like whether it's Discord or whatever, like just reach out if you've got ideas or want to implement anything on the front end. Yeah, so I think uh, that covers that. And uh, I mean, we didn't discuss any real activity towards implementation. so. It's just we're going to be pushing some things to the forum soon. And yeah, the front end will be constantly updated in like background work. And then we're going to push through that publicly at some point. Yeah. And, and, and the, the contract upgrade is I've had Alex, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's slated for t- later today. Yeah, that's <laughs> and that will definitely happen. Um, like the vote's already gone through on Aragon. We just have to enact that. Um, yeah, that'll definitely, and th- th- then, um, it's in terms of like more contract upgrades, mm-hmm. um, the one that I really want to make is, uh, ERC one, one, five, five. So I'll probably get started on that this week. Um, try to make sure there's space. 
So we're at that 24 kill by limit. Nice. All right, so I think that covers everything. Does anyone have any questions or comments? No. Thank you to everyone for participating in the governance call.